from China, Inner Mongolia. I'm from Brisbane. <laughs> I'm from Australia, Sunshine Coast. In the middle of China, Wuhan. I'm from uh, Beijing, China. Um, I was born here in Brisbane. I'm from China. Kangaroo and uh, koala. Of course, panda. Surely the kang Australia. kangaroo for Australia, I'm going to say. And the koala. Oh, the yeah. panda. Probably like a panda. Uh, koala. Uh, panda and koala. Maybe in China, the panda, and in Australia, the koala. I think food is really um, popular <laughs> in China, and especially I, uh, I came to the Australia, and I think Australia food is really, really not delicious. I learned Chinese in school, so I learned Chinese for a couple of years. So yeah, very interesting language, very different to English, but in a lot of ways it's a lot simpler than English. I was in Beijing, it was very smoggy. Like, that China makes, like, they make a lot of stuff. The, the cities are always huge. I feel like it's very industrial. Although we are the same culture, but because of the different nations, different regions, we have different cultures. The impression of China that I have from everyone that I've met who's Chinese are all really friend friendly. I also think that just as a stereotypical thing, they're all very intelligent as well. Um, in China, transport is very cheap, but in Australia, it's more expensive. The bus station never uh, tell you which stop, which uh, stop you should get off. So I always get off the wrong bus station. Mm, I think people in here uh, most live with a, a free lifestyle and they also enjoy their relaxable, uh, uh, some a relaxable activity. Yeah, I think that's definitely a big difference. You guys have better food. Most of the time in China, the sunlight is just hot, but in Australia, mm, my skin well became uh, well became dark. Maybe the panda love love cola. I think they may sleep together. They're gonna be find each other. <laughs> They'll probably give each other a big hug. That's what I think. When koalas meet panda. panda.